We've talked before about what took place on the cross, but I didn't realize until fairly recently the awful significance of the fact that Christ was crucified on the middle cross. This is what John Calvin wrote. By hanging him in the middle, they gave him first place as though he were the thieves' leader. To onlookers or passerbys that day, Jesus looked like the ringleader of a bunch of crooks. Even more devastating, it looked like he was permanently cursed by God. Devout Jews coming from around the world for Passover would turn their faces away from him. And Paul reminds us why. When he was hung on the cross, he took upon himself the curse for our wrongdoing. For it's written in the scriptures, cursed is everyone who is hung on a tree. I didn't realize that significance of being the center cross. But Martin Luther paints an even more shocking reality of what actually happened to Jesus during his crucifixion. This is what he wrote. He bore the person of a sinner and of a thief, and not of one, but of all sinners and thieves. And all the prophets saw this, that Christ was to become the greatest thief, murderer, adulterer, robber, desecrator, blasphemer, etc., that had ever been anywhere in the world. I can't even begin to wrap my mind around that kind of love that would do that for you and for me. 